Appendicitis. This is a disease that most people know about because it's common enough. In fact, it is the most common cause of acute abdomen in the world. So uh, it is also the killer of Harry Houdini. It is uh, the one... Uh, the one magic trick he could not do was to escape from appendicitis. Usually it presents with right lower quadrant pain, and that's a, that's a pretty good description. I mean, a lot of these uh, different diseases that we talk about, there's the classic symptoms, and then there's the symptoms that, that really happen. But with, with appendicitis, right lower quadrant pain is, real, um, is a real common presentation as well as anorexia, as people don't want to eat, and nausea, which uh, probably is the cause of their anorexia. And uh, there are other things that you want to rule out. Uh, mesenteric lymphadenitis, I've included a little bit more on here because I'm not going to talk about it anywhere else. But it, uh, it's just a, a, a swelling of lymph nodes in, in the mesentery around the intestines and it often is uh, right-sided because a lot of those lymph nodes are on the right side and so it, it presents almost identically. In fact, uh, around 16% of children presenting with probable appendicitis end up having mesenteric lymphadenitis. So this is a, a good thing to have uh, a high index of suspicion for. It's caused by infection in most cases, usually viral. It can also be uh, a result of inflammatory bowel disease, uh, group A strep pharyngitis, and lymphoma. Other conditions that need to be ruled out are gynecological conditions, especially uh, PID and ectopic pregnancy need to be ruled out, which uh, you usually can do fairly easily with an ultrasound and uh, a, uh, what is it called? A pregnancy test, uh, a beta HCG test. And uh, STDs and diverticulitis are also things that need to be ruled out. On the exam, uh, Murphy's sign is the, is the common sign associated with appendicitis. You're just going to push on the, the lower, lower right quadrant and uh, a lot of these people will, will have a lot of pain there, or tenderness there. And uh, rebound tenderness means that you push in slow and, th and the, the pain comes when, uh, when you uh, release, which is a, a good indication of peritonitis. Rose swing sign is, is actually when you push on the other side of the abdomen, it hurts on the right side. So uh, another sign is obturator sign and psoas sign. Those are both tests that you can do uh, to, to uh, see if you can elicit pain, and, and those are good indications that you have appendicitis. They also can have uh, uh, some diagnostic value in determining where the, uh, where the appendix is sitting. Palpation, a rectal exam, a guaiac card for occult blood, and an, a gynecological exam are all important in examining these patients. Then you send off the labs. Uh, these are just some uh, made-up numbers here. But the, the most important thing to look at on the CBC is the white blood cells. The, they are going to be elevated in the acute appendicitis. There is a possibility of bleeding, which uh, you might get end up with a, an anemic patient. Uh, so you look at your H and H levels as well. Electrolytes, ALKFOS, uh, AST, uh, ALT can help us rule out other things on our differential diagnosis list. Uh, for example, uh, liver problems, um, gallbladder issues, things like that. Urinali urinalysis and beta HCG we talked about for ruling out possible uh, other conditions. Then we do a CT scan. Uh, you, you can look at these with an ultrasound as well, uh, but CT scan is going to be the most sensitive test for appendicitis. 
and the what you're looking for is the cecum and the appendix is going to be sticking off the cecum in some direction so appendicitis generally you you treat it with surgery there are instances where you will uh, watchfully wait if uh, there's a high risk for surgery and uh, the symptoms are not severe you may uh, hold off on on surgery but most of these people need to need to go to surgery so we can prevent uh, rupture and uh, the uh, infection that comes after that so y you can do uh, an open append appendectomy you can also do laparoscopic appendectomy so with the laparoscopic most people are going to put in a trocar just below the navel and uh, and what some would say it'd be the most aesthetic way uh, or aesthetically pleasing way to put the trocars in uh, would be uh, right here along the uh, line of the inguinal ligament and uh, the um, bowel is followed to the cecum appendix is identified you dissect out the base of the appendix first so we can uh, help to prevent uh, perforation. The appendix is stapled and then transected and the appendix is placed in a bag and pulled out. After the surgery, we want to make sure you are watching for abscess, uh, bleeding and infection, pretty typical of uh, bowel surgeries. You want to make sure, of course, that you watch out for DVT and uh, respiratory complications that also are typical of all surgeries.